Hi, welcome to Shop Stop. Today we want to talk about running hydraulic components uh, off of your, your tractor. And we're primarily going to talk about running hydraulic motors and why it's important to know what you've got and how to operate the system you have. The first thing to consider is, does your tractor have an open center hydraulic system or a closed center system? It's not going to be stamped on the tractor anywhere, so you need to know what you have. Generally, most smaller tractors have open center hydraulic systems, and with those, what you're going to do is, is those, uh, those systems run at a constant flow rate all the time as far as the hydraulic pump on the tractor. And if they've got a constant flow rate then you're going to have what's called a, a needle valve which will be similar to this where you will adjust the flow uh, by restriction and be able to control the speed of your motor. The first thing you need to remember though is with most open center systems again on the smaller tractors is those are not designed for continuous operation with these types of motors and so you need to be thinking about how you're going to use it. The main reason is, is because anytime you restrict the flow anywhere, you cause that pressure drop and that pressure drop is going to create heat. And if you let it get hot enough, your hydraulic temperature light's going to come on or you could uh, exceed the, the temperature of the hydraulic system and burn things up and burn seals out of it. Now the other type of system is what's called a closed center system. The closed center systems now will, uh, it's got a means for bypassing the flow and the pump will only, only create as much flow as is required for the specific job. Now this particular tractor has got a, a closed center system and we're going to show you that it's got a flow control on one of the control valves and that we can control the speed of this motor by turning this valve and we don't create the heat this, that we would by having the pressure drop because there is no pressure drop. So if you still use a valve like this with a closed center system when you don't need it, you are going to create the heat and then that heat has to be dissipated somewhere within the system somewhere else. Now another word of caution on, on a closed center system is if you have the thing turned all the way up, yeah your unit still may work, but it, it can still create heat because there may be things on the piece of equipment that you're operating that caused that pressure drop and so you want to adjust this to the optimal range for whatever it is you're operating. That's it this week for Shop Stop. We'll see you next time.